What's up everybody? Sean here with another Live to Roll video. This is going to be a video for some of the newer injury people. Um, some of you guys that are just newly into getting injured and just trying to check out stuff, learn some basic life skills. Um, so one of the first things that I know they try to teach you in OT is pen skills. So we're just going to go over just basically some different quad grips. This is how I grip a pen and write. And I'll show you guys a couple shots of me writing. And I also reached out some to some of my other friends, um, all like around the same quad level, like C5, C6. Nobody really having any finger function, but everybody having slightly different ways they do stuff, different techniques they use. So I'm gonna show you guys a few different techniques as well as just mine. So you can get a little bit different, um, broader perspective of you know things you can try and might work for you. So a good thing to do to practice this is something I used to do to practice was just take like a piece of notebook paper, notebook like this, and just basically write standards, but or just write different things. Oops. Different things you might know you'll need to write. Like live to roll. <laughs> Or just practice writing stuff like your name. Oh man, I'm getting crazy. And so here's a more just standard plastic pen. This one doesn't have any special rubber grip or anything. And it's kind of skinny, just basically like a regular Bic, Bic pen. But uh, but it just has a clicker on it, so you can click it in and out. And so with something like this, it can tend to slide around in your hand a little bit more. Oops. So yeah, so as you can see the with the blue pen, with the no rubber grip, kind of copy your pen, it definitely didn't write as well. But it does take just practice and getting used to it and just getting used to something that does work for you. My name is Mike. I'm a C5-6 quadriplegic, and this is how I write. I stick my pen in my hand like this, my pointer finger and pinky finger on top, middle finger and ring finger underneath, Click the pen on, and I write like this. So when I'm writing, um, I prefer to use a Vic Velocity 1.6 pen. It's my favorite one that I've found so far. It has a little rubber end piece here for traction. And you can click the pen on and off. And I have a, at work, I have a pocket in my shirt, which makes it easy to hold my pen and access it. All I do is grab it, stick it on the mouth, do that, and open it up and closing it. And then I can push around smooth surfaces easily with my hand and just keep the pen in my hand the whole time and right here and click and that's it easy as that So after my injury, I uh, had to relearn how to use my hands because this is the way they healed being a C6 quadriplegic. Um, I can barely wiggle one of my fingers. Um, I have tenodesis, so I can retract my wrists. And they kind of ended up being in a tight fist. And so the first technique that I used uh, 
to write with the pen um, because I wanted to be as normal as I used to be. Uh, was writing just like this with pinching it between my thumb and my pointer finger and um, I was able to you know sign my name and um, you know write just about anything I wanted um, but obviously my penmanship has gotten a little bit bigger um, and it's kind of scribbled but if you ask my wife Kirsten she'll say it looks just the same as it always did except I used to push a lot harder when I wrote uh, so that was this way I learned how to write and it works especially with a fatter pen like this this pen's really nice because it's got some grip on there um, it's an accessible pen an adapted pen uh, people don't even know it when they buy these things but it's a really special ergonomic tool um, the other way that I write, and I find myself doing this more and more often now, is by wedging it between my two fingers. Um, sorry, of course the video is on, so I'm having a little trouble getting it in there, but um, between my two fingers like that, because I've got tight hands, and now I've really got a sturdy hold on this thing. Um, I also, so now if I want to write or write dark. Um, it's really easy for me and um, this is the way I you know like to doodle and stuff like that um, just because it's easier for me to draw um, and Betty likes that kind of stuff my daughter uh, so this is becoming my more and more commonplace one um, at first, it took some time to get used to holding something between my fingers. It didn't feel very good. Uh, but, you know, I'm um, able to do just about any doodle and really have control of the pen. And then last but not least, what I'll say about pens is I uh, have some pens that I really love and some pens that I just absolutely hate. I really like the pens that you can click on the top. I really love pens that bleed a lot. Uh, put ink down so I don't have to press very hard. And then, obviously, like I said... Uh, the pens that are a little bit wider um, are great if I want to hold the pen kind of in that more natural way. Um, and then I more and more I'm liking skinny pens because as you saw it's easier to squeeze them between my tight fingers. Uh, but every quad has their own techniques and so these are mine. This is how I do it. I don't use any tools. I just wedge between my fingers and stop. This is me writing my name. I don't use any equipment. I just wedge the pen between my fingers. This is also how I eat with my fork and I type like this. So the first thing that's most important in writing successfully is your surface that you're working at. I have a desk right here, which I can get under comfortably and easily, um, but that often isn't available. Um, in that event, I can write on my lap. Um, it's taken lots of practice and time to get good at that, but I found that just like a lap tray, um, or you know, like a laptop tray, it's like meant to sit on your lap, can provide like a really nice surface um, that's easy for you to work on and is pretty easy to carry around with you too. Um, next is your utensils, your writing utensils. Pencils are obviously pretty easy. Um, sharpening them is not the easiest thing in the world for the quadriplegic, but you can probably get some help with that. Um, pens are generally more difficult, uh, depending. It can just be hard to get the lid off the pen. I'll uh, put this one back on to demonstrate how I do it. But basically, what you just saw off screen, or what you missed off screen was, I used my teeth to grip the lid and pull it off. Um, it's easy. 
teeth make great tools. <laughs> as long as you're not a germaphobe, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, some pens are easier than others, but just the nature of it, you gotta shop smart when you're buying your utensils. By the way that I hold the pen um, is I start off by, or pencil, I start off by placing it in between my index and middle finger, just like so. And then I use the palm, I'm left-handed, so I use the palm of my off hand, my right hand, to uh, press it um, you know, into my hand. What this does is it provides like strength and dexterity. If I try one-handed, like I don't have enough strength and dexterity to push down on the paper to you know like leave uh, impressionable, legible marks. But with two hands, I'm able to do that just fine. Um, hi, my name is Tom. <laughs> the slower I write, um, the more, the cleaner, more legible it looks. Uh, if I'm writing quickly, a lot of times it'll look like chicken scratch. The more you write, the more you practice, the easier it'll get, the better you'll get at it. Um, I like to doodle a lot. Things like that. Um, you know, it, uh, really just takes time and practice to get good. Different uh, pens and pencils are easier. They sell pencils, Ticonderoga, that um, come in larger circumference, meaning like this is kind of a skinny pencil, but they have ones that are bigger and more round, so they're easier to hold in your hand. You can find it most stationary stores. I used to use those early on when I was like learning for the first time. The other thing that I found is Probably one of the most difficult parts about writing, especially on surfaces like desks, is sometimes you have to lean forward. Um, you have to brace yourselves with your elbows because as quadriplegics, we don't have any abdominal muscles, or at least very few that are functional. But um, that can be difficult to lean forward, to brace yourself with your elbows, and then to write legibly. Um, to, move, to move it a little closer, I don't know, sometimes, even if you're sitting at a desk, um, fold the paper or, you know, just kind of curve it up towards you, slide it a little closer to you. I'm doing it with a notebook right here. It's kind of resting it on my stomach, basically. And that brings it a lot closer to you. And I found sometimes that that can make it a little bit easier to, you know, um, to be more stable, to write more legibly, clearly and easier. Uh, it's just a really simple, easy, quick trick um, you can do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys were able to take something from it, either from the way I do it or the way one of my friends does it. And it's really just a matter of how you're comfortable working it. Um, you know, sometimes your hands might be a little bit different. You might have slight function, maybe something that does grip and you can hold better with that. So it's just a matter of finding what is going to be the best method for you. So I hope you were able to take something from it. So if you liked the video, please click that like button. If you haven't already, definitely click the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the future videos. And uh, any questions, comments, anything like that, click down below. All right, everybody, let's get a fist bump. Live to roll.